All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another quick install video for you and product review. It's going to go again on the Polaris Ranger XP1000. There's just so many things out there, guys, that you can put on these Polaris Rangers. Um, the accessories are abundant, so check out all of our videos that we have out there on them. There's a playlist that you can do at the end of the video where you can go in, see all the stuff we've added to our 2022 Polaris Ranger XP1000. And you might get some good information and things that you can add to yours. So the one that we're going to be reviewing today is going to be from Kimimoto. Once again, um, Kimimoto product. It's going to be a UTV um, adjustable gun holder. And it's going to go in the roof of our Polaris Ranger XP1000. I think we're going to try to put it in the rear. Um, just because I don't want it directly over top of my head. I'd rather have it in the rear since we do have the crew cab. But we'll get in there and kind of play with it and see what we got. Um, but we're going to show you the install of it and kind of a product review as well. So it's going to be a little short video today just because there's not many two moving parts on this product. So without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and get into it. But hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. All right, so let's see what we got in the box. Um, this is what we have. There's not, like I said, there's not very many moving parts. So we have the instructions. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory instructions. Like I said, there's just a couple little things to do, but we will pull these out. You have your accessories. Comes with an Allen. Everything's nice bubble wrapped once again, just like all their products. So we'll go ahead and take these out. You're gonna have two of these. These are what the gun goes in or the bow. I think the picture online on their actual website shows a bow in it. Um, but it's called a gun, adjustable gun holder. Um, but you can use it for gun, bow, you name it, probably tools even, whatever whatever actually can go in there. Let me get this all unwrapped and then uh, we'll start putting it together. All right, so before we go ahead and go inside, I figure we should go ahead and put these on. I'm thinking we're going to put this way back. There's two rubber pieces you're gonna to wanna to put in just for added, added protection. So the rubber pieces are gonna go in just like this and they'll form like that. So I'm gonna get the sticky adhesive part off and we're gonna put these together real quick. Just for some added protection. There we go. There's that one. So that's what it'll look like. And then it's going to go around the bar. Once again, you'll do the same thing with this side. Take this little rubber piece. Pull that down. We'll put it right in here for added protection. That All right, make sure it sticks on. You'll throw it on this piece and take your wing nuts just to snug them up. They're a little difficult to get started, actually. There we go. Get that one started. All right, guys, so now we're, we're going to get in here. It's a little tight in here, but we're going to put this in the back. So on these here, you're going to have an angled piece and a 90. So the way the actual frame is on the Polaris Ranger, you're going to make sure that that flat piece sits right in there, and then the angle piece is there. So... And it's kind of like a shower curtain. If you guys have seen one of those expandable shower curtains, and then you'll just tighten these down here like so. Make sure it's tight. And you can just hand tighten them at first. Right? So it's kind of sitting just like that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get a wrench and snug it down once I make sure it's exactly where we want it. Then you can adjust these 
back and forth depending on where you want them. And like I said, you can hand tighten it. We are right in the middle here, exactly where I want to be. Actually, we should probably push it forward a little bit here. Make sure exactly in the middle. Just like that. And you can eyeball it or you can measure it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at, at those things. I guess if you wanted to put it back further, you could. That way it's out of the way. But I like to hang stuff on these, these hooks back here, like coats and things. So I don't want to really mess with those. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up now. Once again, I said it's a 5 sixteenths or 15 sixteenths, sorry. So not quite an inch. It might be a metric, I don't know, but this fits perfect. All right, guys, so I had to do a little bit more adjusting than I thought I was going to have to do just because you want to take in consideration uh, the type of bow you have to where on the limbs they actually get in here perfect. So I'm going to show you exactly how to put your bow in. Put your bow in like this. You're going to go ahead and take these straps here and you're going to snug them down with these little rubber snaps. There's one there. You take this one around the string and you can snug that down there. And as you work these, they'll probably get uh, more loose to where you get them on a little easier. Because right now they're actually a little difficult. All right, so got that one there for that bow string. And then you'll do the other side. Uh-oh. That one popped off over there. So right now, guys, it's actually more difficult than for a bow than I want. There, I got it on that time. Maybe it's just learning the... Uh, the hole to go in and how to actually snug it in. All right, there, that one, that's on that time. We're gonna have to do some driving around to test this with a bow, because I don't know if I like it too much right now, unless there's a better way to get with this quiver over here. It's a little difficult. I'm just giving you guys the real, real world Real world review because this is pretty awful right now. And it might just be, you have to, there, I got it in, but boy, in the morning when it's really cold out and uh, you're trying to be quiet and you got all your hunting clothes on, I don't know if I want to be back here. Messing around like that with this. Once it's in there, though, it looks pretty good. There, now, now it's solid. See, it ain't gonna come out, but let me jump out and show you a little closer view. All right, so here you go. This is with the the bow in. And as you can see, these right here, these rubber pieces, you got to get them just right, just right to get in the hole. And they're they're a little pain, actually. Well, at least it was this first time around. There's an old bloody arrow from this year. I mean, but the bow fits in there nice. But see how it, you had to adjust to get your cams in these holders just right. So I do some adjustment there, but I also wanted to make sure it was adjusted for a gun for a scope. So it's not hitting on this crossbar here. So to get it out, I'm assuming I would probably undo this one first. Yeah, the, the bottom ones. And then hold your string so to get it out it's actually fairly easy but it's just getting it in right, so let me show you how to do a gun and i'm just getting inside because it's a little difficult to show you with the camera in, in the door of how you would get it in but let's just throw this up in here so see you slip your gun in there and like i said you want to take in consideration the uh the scope so we'll lax this down here. 
and these rubber things sure are difficult to to get man all right so there's got to be a trick of how to do it maybe it's just doing it time after time and loosening those those up but it's kind of difficult right now i sure don't want to be messing with this in the wood There's the gun. It's pretty solid in there. This is all solid. But that dare, dare is just a pain, guys. I, I don't know. There's got to be a better way. All right, so your gun's in there. Let me show you, bring you in closer here and show you. You have to account for the, the scope so it's not hitting the crossbar there. But I wanted it up a little bit so you're not hitting your head if you've got passengers. These things here, guys, are just difficult. But look how easy they are to, to undo. It's just a pain to get them in. So let me take this gun out and wrap this video up. All right, guys, got it all wrapped up, got it put in. Drove it out around the property with the gun in and the bow. And let me tell you, perfect. Rides great, doesn't rattle around, it's solid. Everything's good. Um, I like the way it's placed in there to where the gun or the bow is actually up front. Once you make those little adjustments, like I said, you're going to have to make some adjustments depending on your application or where you want it. If you're going to have passengers or if you're actually going to be using it in just a single cab, you're going to have to make those adjustments to where it's not hit, you're not going to hit your head on it. Um, so very quick and easy install. Very simple. Probably should take you about a half an hour. So I, lo I love the product. There's just one downfall that i'm not going to try to ran on a little bit too much but hey here on the channel i'm going to be upfront and honest with you guys when i have a product and if i see an issue i'm going to tell you so the problem that i have and maybe it gets better over time i'm not sure i don't know we'll just have to see but just from my experience with working with rubber when it's cold outside or things like that it's very difficult but what i'm talking about is the little rubber and you've seen it on the video as you're watching to be able to snap the bow or the gun in, those little rubber holes to snap it in. Very difficult to work with. Um, maybe it'll loosen up, I'm not sure. But just note that if you purchase this product, once again, this is a Kimimoto UTV um, adjustable gun rack or bow rack, whatever you want to call it, whatever you use it for. Um, but it's actually called an adjustable gun rack. Just know that it's going to be difficult. You're going to have to actually get inside your Ranger to snap those. You're not going to be able to do it out here. I tried. You can't do it unless you really work with it. But I'm not going to rant anymore about that. Just know that that's the honest truth, that those are difficult to work with. Other than that, the product's great. Um, I'll probably use it for my bow. I'll use the other gun racks for my gun unless it's a necessity if I have multiple people and there's just not enough gun holders. So... It's nice, it gives me another other flexibility, but just know there is that one little issue. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.